guys, Meru here, and I want to welcome you to my very first RainCloud SMP video. Woo! Super excited. So if you follow me on social media, or I guess if you're watching this video right now, you know that I have recently acquired the ability to record videos. Uh, this chance was brought to me by three people who are amazing and awesome and will be talked about in a future vlog. So go watch go watch vlogs because that's where I truly shine is in the vlogs. But three people afforded me the chance to to record videos and I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I have to be honest. I I this is something I've kinda wanted to do for a little while and then things happened and series ideas were thrown out and I decided to try and take them over and so yay. So, I thought, you know, today I would just start out by, you know, logging on and kind of trying this all out. Kind of seeing how this whole recording thing goes and get you stuck in you guys. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to show you around. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I'm building, some of the stuff I'm going to build, uh, ideas I have, and, and just kind of chat with you guys and, and, you know, see what's up. So, let me get back into F5. Okay. So, we start here. This is Mine and Shadow's base on RainCloud SMP. Uh, this is the little area that you warp in at. I'm kind of working on, going to build like a little gazebo, pagoda, I don't know, some kind of little structure. Because this is right on the edge of a cliff. And it scares me to think that, you know, people might warp in or lag. I, I don't know. And somehow fall and die. I know it doesn't seem very likely, but I'm a worry person. So so you come up and this this here is Bob. Say hi, Bob. This is Bob, and Bob welcomes you to Shawru. There, There's a story behind Bob, and I don't know if I'll tell the Bob story, or if I'll let Bob remain ever elusive and mysterious. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but this is Bob. Uh, so, you're going to come up here, and you're going to go up these little stairs, and I'm sorry if you can hear my computer in the background, or if the quality of the sound is not fantastic. I'm not working with the best setup. Uh, working on upgrading may maybe sometime so so just just bear with me so this is our base of space uh, previously belonged to Scarovese and he had kind of uh, since abandoned it in lieu of, of building in other places so I kind of took it over because it's so pretty you can see all like the mountains I love building on these like extreme hills Savannah M type areas it's just so pretty there's so many mountains you're up high in the clouds and we're surrounded here. You can't really see. But we're surrounded with like ocean and then a desert and forest and jungle and all this stuff. And I just really like it. So I'm very excited. So this is what I'm working on. This is Sharu Manor. Uh, this is actually being built using a tutorial by Axion. There's a creeper like, right there. Being built by uh, via a tutorial that was done by Axionerve. I will put the links to his channel below because I want to give uh, credit. And I, there's so many noises. So, got the first floor done. And then I just need to build some roofs and some towers. And I think it's coming out pretty cool. So it's modified a little bit from the tutorial. Uh, not a ton. I really liked it the way it was. I'm putting my own touches to it here and there. I might change some of the outside. I'm not sure. haven't completely decided, but just kind of wanted to get it the basic shape up and then see what I wanted to do with it. But yeah, definitely go check out his channel. He builds some beautiful gothic uh, Victorian style things, and I love his stuff. So I'm building it using nether brick because I love the way that nether brick looks in my texture pack. It's like a purpley red, and I just think it looks really nice with the quartz and the dark oak and the stone. So... Yeah, that's Shawru Manor. Still working. I got some ugly scaffolding there. Ignore that. But I, I think it's going to come out pretty nice. It's very purple. I love purple. And I kind of built a giant purple mansion that Shadow now gets to live in. And I, I don't know if he's okay with that, but I didn't I didn't really ask. Come to think of it, so. I think he's fine with it. I, think, I don't think he cares. And yeah, I'm going to show you what he's building, but I really think I need to go up in the house. Maybe up on the tower a little bit to kind of give you a feel of what it looks like. So we have a little ladder here. Pardon me while I go up the ladder. Do, 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 do. There we go. Pumpkin farm, because I'm working on stuff for Halloween events. 
kitty cats. Kitty cats. Gotta go say hi to the kitty cats. Yeah. I love me some kitty cats. Uh, so we go down here. And ta-da! This is his dragon. This is Shadow Dragon's dragon. Um, he's been on the server for... Oh, gosh. I, I want to say, like, a month? You know, less than a month? more, Maybe a little more than a month? Give or take a few days? But he decided he wanted to build a dragon. Uh, he's always kind of wanted to build a dragon in Minecraft. We used to play on the uh, Xbox version. And... He built, he would build giant castles and all kinds of pretty things, and so when he joined here, we thought, you know, build your dragon. So he found a couple world saves that he liked, and it's not really based off anyone in particular. He kind of just found a few and mashed together several ideas, and really he's kind of just winging it. He's kind of gotten inspiration from looking at a few, but he's really just kind of made it his own, and it's completely out of his head, so I think it's amazing. I know that I'm a bit biased, obviously, but I think it's amazing. And, yeah, he's doing a little, a few more touches here and there. He's building some stuff down below. I think he's going to do, like, an observation tower so you can see out that way. And, I don't know, he's got a lot of things going on over there, but I just think it looks really good. It's really good. And I kind of, I kind of hate how talented he is sometimes. <laughs> but it's pretty. So, yeah, inside the house is obviously just a big facade right now. Uh, it's going to have three floors. Main floor, second floor, and then I think in this area there's, like, a little attic floor kind of thing. So going to have a lot of interior design to do, but I love to do interior design. There's one thing you should know about Mero is she loves cats. I guess that's more than one thing. There's a few things you want to know about Mero. She loves cats. I love purple. I love Victorian style, and I love to do interiors. So this is going to be a lot of fun once I actually get the all, get it all put together and ready to go. So I'm just going to hop back down here to the main floor. Got a little farm and stuff going on in here. And yeah, I just, I just think it's so cool. We have some ideas for some different stuff up here and over there. And then I have a city I'm actually going to build eventually down in that direction. So that's going to be, uh, you know, not for a while. Still have a lot of other stuff to finish. But yeah, just going to pop back down here. And I am going to take us to spawn. So, yay! So this is a uh, spawn, the Warp House. I'm sure you guys have seen it. If you watch any Rain Club videos, I'm sure you've seen tons of uh, tour videos and all that different stuff. This is our Warp House, built by Pastel Zombie. I think it's quite lovely. I really like it. I really like vines and the nature-y. I don't know. I like it. Uh, so, uh, you know, warehouse, Rain's House, uh, smeltery, all the different stuff around. So another project I'm going to be working on is we have a lot of these little street lights and we have torches, you know, everywhere to light up spawn. I mean, you need you need the torches. We don't want things to be spawning, bad guys. So I had an idea that I kind of took to the admin team and just like, hey, I would really like to do street lamps, you know, like street lights, uh, the kind that you have with the redstone light and then the daylight sensor so they come out at night. So I am going to be going around and replacing some, not all. Obviously, I'm not going to replace every torch you see here with a street light because that would just be ridiculous and it would look weird. But I'm going to be replacing, like, along the roads, along the paths, you know, all these little areas. I'm going to be replacing some torches with uh, street lights. So, yeah, to just kind of help give the, the paths and the roads just kind of a little bit of a finished feel, you know, make it make it seem a little bit more, I guess, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. I don't know. I'm all about aesthetics. Um, so I just like to make things look, you know, so like some of these, you know, some street lights here and there. There's a horse. Hi, horse. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, just just as I have time, just kind of slowly going through and and putting up street lights and then taking down some of the torches that aren't necessary because the, the area is full lit. But, you know, we still need these torches in these areas because I can't put street... I'm not going to put street lamps down there. Um, but I still don't want to mess up and have things be spawning. I don't want anybody's stuff to get blown up or people to be just massacred with, uh, you know, zombies and stuff while they're in spawn. So, you know, that way is the spawn platform. So some street lamps here. And the sun is going down, so I'm just going to take a quick moment and go sleep.
and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, you guys, back. and I am back. Uh, I just had to take a quick nap, make the sun come up. So as you see here, we are at the lovely Rain Cloud Hotel. This is where our guests stay um, when they are on the server. You know, so they have a place. If they don't set up a house or anything, they stay at the lovely hotel. And I built this little road going out. And I know it doesn't look very nice. It's kind of a hot mess of a road, but it's a very temporary pathway uh, till I, I get something nice. I might build a bridge. I might have the road curve around that way. I, I don't really know. We'll see. This is just kind of to let people know that, hey, there's something happening over here. Follow the road. And it's it's not the best road, uh, granted. But it works for now. And this brings you to the site of... Let's get down here and... oh. Okay, well, it's the future site of the Rain Cloud Shop District, which apparently is Rainco owned and operated. Um, I did, I did not, I did not put that sign. I, I did not. Rain. This is not. Okay, whatever. You know what? That's fine. We're just gonna go with it. So apparently, this is going to be the site of the Rainco Outlet Mall. And I had, it's an idea that's been thrown around a lot of doing a commercial district. So I kind of just decided to make it happen. Um, so I'm going to clear out uh, this area. I'm going to kind of flatten it out a little bit. I'm going to leave a lot of these hills and stuff here to give it a nice, you know, like tucked into a valley kind of feel. I think, I think that's nice. I think that would be good. So this will be cleared out a little bit. And then we're going to have little shops. Um, we don't have a currency system on Ring Cloud. Like, I know some servers have where you actually have money. You know, you have gold or you have whatever their currency that they call it, where you can go to stores and actually buy and sell things for in-game money. Um, we don't have that, like, plug-in or, or mod or whatever that is on Ring Cloud. We just thought it would be kind of a fun idea. That is, like, our housing district over there of Spawn, so that would be kind of cool to have, like, a shopping district. So um, over there, Kiri has an ice cream cone, which people can go to for snow. Uh, she wants to move that. I don't know if it's going to be possible to move it over here. I'm, I'm not sure because I know, you know, it has to be at a certain height. So we might have to figure that out so the snow golem doesn't die. I don't know. This might not be a good area for her snow cone. She might have to move that somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to have little shops over here. One of the ideas I have for a shop of mine is I really love doing interior design, as I have said. And I thought it'd be kind of fun. I, I've done interior design for Kiri, and I've done it for a couple other people in builds that they're doing. So I thought it would be kind of fun to have like a little, like a, like a Meru's interior design slash set building shop. That sounds really bad. That just, <laughs> sorry. I'm I'm ashamed now that 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 sounds so horrible. Um, hey, do you guys have any ideas for what my shop should be called? But it's based. It's just so bad. It's such a bad name. Uh, it's like way too descriptive of what it is. But so it was gonna be kind of like a IKEA but smaller. Um, I might have to put it over like over here. I don't know. But I basically want to do a little shop. Where I have little like setups, not nothing big, so I don't want it to be a huge place, but little setups like you know you got the little I'm, I'm drawing on the ground here, so hopefully you guys can follow along. But you know you have like the little living room set with the carpets and stuff around it, and then maybe you have like a little kitchen, and it just kind of shows you the different stuff that I can do and and everything, and maybe some like samples on a wall with all the stuff that looks nice together. Um, you know, it's just kind of like that. And then I offer my services to do interior design in your house. Or make sets. I really like to do that. I really like to make sets. I mean, I made the TARDIS, which has actually been used as a set in, in quite a few videos uh, for people's intro videos to the server or just videos in general. And I have to say, like, you guys, I love that you use the TARDIS for sets. I love it. I mean, I, I just think you should use it for everything. Not, not that I want... Not that I want you guys to be like, yes, use my building and then and then and show everybody and then tell them that I did it and how awesome I am. I just, I like that I built something that people enjoy using so much in their videos. Like, I just, I just, I just like it. I put a lot of work into the TARDIS. It, it took me a long time. There was a lot of thought that went into each room. I tried to make them go together but then be different. So, you know, I like it. I like that you guys use it. It makes me happy. So I thought, you know, 
have a little shop. And of course services at the shop, and I'm assuming other shops, will be free. I don't think people will charge. As far as my shop, it's going to be like a barter system. I think more so like I'll have donations like, hey, you want me to build something? How about you, you know, donate some of the materials or you just, just offer donations or, or it can be free. It's not really that hard for me to acquire materials to do interiors. I'm not making the whole place. I'm just doing a room, you know, so I don't know. It'll probably just be as my time allows. So I'll have like a little chest. People can put in their requests, their ideas. And, and yeah, I know that, uh, that rain has an abundance of armor from a prank that, uh, someone pulled on him. I can't quite remember who right now, but he has abundance of armor. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. We need to have like a rain's armor emporium. Uh, since he has a mass quantity of it now, and I know Faria had an idea for a shop, which I won't I won't say because that's probably might be something she wants to do in one of her videos. So. But it's a really cute idea, and I really like it. So yeah, this will be this will be fun. So what people do, I'll just kind of clear out the area, and then people can come up and plop a sign, and maybe make a perimeter. You're like, I want this area, put a little perimeter. But this is where I'm going to build. So then I'll come in and build roads in between. Uh, little pathways, maybe some water features, some gardens, you know, it'll be like a nice little, uh, apparently a Rainco outlet mall. So yeah, I think it'll be cool. And then I'm going to try not to encroach too much on the uh, tree farm, because this is curious, and I don't want to kind of like invade her space too much, but you know, it's kind of like a shop in a weird way. I know it's a farm, but it's, it's kind of like a shop. You come, you get your wood, you do your thing, so yeah. I think it's a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any ideas for fun shops that'd be kind of silly or goofy to have, or just <laughs> things that might be interesting. I'm gonna come over here now and show you the tree. My tree. I have been working on it a little bit. Uh, you see a little bit of leafage up on the tree. Uh, if leafage. I don't know if that's a word. We're going to use it, though. Leafage. It's about four stacks of leaves so far that I put up there. And it's obviously nowhere near. But I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to kind of... It's going to be based off, like, a weeping willow a little bit. And I'm not going to talk too much about it, because I'll show you guys. I'm going to just show you guys in future videos and motivate me to work on it if I can leave you guys hanging. Then you'll be like, hey, what you doing to the tree? need to sculpt it a little bit more. It's very flat and straight. It's not really how a tree looks, so sculpting it. we got some roots starting over here. I have some more roots coming down. This is eventually going to go away. Uh, this is just a pathway to get up, so I think it's going to be good. Are you happy, Kiri? Are you happy I'm working on it? You see the leaves? The leaves. She has been... Hmm, she... Uh, I don't want to say nagging. That sounds mean, but she has been asking persistently uh, when I'm going to finish it because uh, she likes it and I th really think she just wants to play on it. I think she just wants to play and, you know, have a big tr tree house to play in. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go up here now and show you that this. Eh, there's my tree. Why is there a tree up there? Guys, why is there a tree? I don't... I don't even understand. I don't even understand. I don't think I put those. Why are there trees? People are... People are weird. But this is the future site of Rain Cloud News. So I guess I should back up a little so you can actually see it a little bit better. But up on this hill is where I'm going to build the news station. So on this side it's going to be like a news station. Over here is going to be a radio broadcast towery thing thing. Um, and Shadow is actually building that part. He, in my opinion, is the go-to expert on radio towers since that's kind of what he does for his job. IRL, he works on radio towers and other radio type devices and things. So yeah, that's where it's going to be up there. And that's going to be my main hub for the new series. Rain Cloud News is, you know, like I said, what, what inspired me to kind of start recording. So I'm really excited. We're going to have like a little swooping path that comes down here and eventually connects to Kiri's path. You can kind of see it over there. But it'll go up. It'll kind of come out and then maybe go up. Have like maybe some support beams so it looks more realistic. And yeah, that'll be Rain Cloud News. And that'll be where Meru does the news. So 
If you guys have suggestions for news you'd like to see, whether it be funny, uh, whether it be serious, whether it be a mix of both, you know, kind of let me know. I, I would love to have some suggestions. I'm always open to taking suggestions. So yeah, we talked about, yeah, the shop district, the lights, base stuff. So I'm just think I'm going to end it. I'm just going to kind of go over and show you the inside of my tree because I've, I've shown it off a little bit, I think, in on Twitter and, and all that. But, you know, it, it doesn't have the same appeal as when you see it live. So I'm going to just kind of head on over here. Oh, I always do that. I cannot walk across the lily pads to save my life. So, yeah. This is the realm of Meru. Um, probably should change that to Sharu because this is kind of... Shadow's spawn house, too, because he didn't really want to build an, uh, just a separate spawn house. Because he just wanted to build the base, so it's kind of ours now. This is my storage room. Um, and, you know, it's my storage room, but I kind of am always fine to let people come and, you know, borrow things or take things, whatever, as long as they tell me. So it's kind of an open door policy in my house. You know, just don't take, like, my diamonds. <laughs> because I need those, but uh, I use diamond tools all the time because I'm a psychopath and a glutton for punishment apparently, but down here we have the strip mine. Down here we have a room that I forgot what its purpose was. It's actually just kind of a giant furnace. Actually, just, you know, just a giant furnace room now, so yeah. And then down here uh, we have the living quarters. So you come down and just get your little area with your books for hanging out and reading. I have little gifts that people have given me on the walls and stuff. Over here we have a little fireplace. Nice little hangout. And fire does not spread. Oh. Oops. I'll fix that. Fire does not <laughs> spread on rain clouds, so you can freely have things around the fire and not really have to worry about it unless you put out yourself like a like an idiot. That's fine. Whatever. Uh so I have my little fireplace, you know, these little decorative things. And I have my big canopy bed that, you know, the more I look at it, I'm realizing that I made such a grandiose bed. But, you know, whatever. I like the canopy style. I just kind of I made it without really thinking of the design before I did it. And it just it turned into this. It turned into this just grandiose, like, such a ridiculously <laughs> queen-looking bed. I don't know. I like it, though. So it's very pretty. Got my little chest that has nothing in it. But yeah, it's just, just my little living quarters. I like to use vines, and I think it helps it feel ethereal and whimsical and fairy-like with my lights and everything. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, I also love purple. I just... I like to break stuff, apparently. I have, I have issues, rage issues of just breaking things. So yeah. I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching, and if you have any ideas for Rain Cloud News, if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see in this series, I'll probably do the Rain Cloud News series, and then I'll have videos like this, where I just kind of show you guys what I'm doing behind the scenes, and, and what I'm building, and what I'm working on. So, you know, let me know. If you liked it, please please hit the like button, and that, that lets me know that you liked it. That's the purpose of the button. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.